The 1962 American NASA black woman Catherine just casually took a cup of coffee. As a result, she suffered a barrage of stares from all male colleagues. The next day, there was an ugly kettle on the table with a special label on it for black people only. Catherine found it even harder to go to the bathroom because the whole building's restrooms were for white people only. Even if she was about to burst, she still had to dash out of the building down the stairs, quickly run over 800 meters across the entire campus to another building. Only here was there a restroom for black people. After she finished in the bathroom, she had to hurry back to her workstation, even if she ran very fast. This back and forth still took nearly 40 minutes, going to the bathroom several times a day. The time wasted would require several hours of overtime to make up for. Late at night, Catherine finally calculated the data she had managed to get right. When it can be handed to the boss, the boss just threw it directly into the trash can. Because the space agency's matters change rapidly, the data has been updated. His calculation results are no longer useful. However, these are not the most difficult. Sometimes the data on the materials will also be erased. Catherine, confused, how can he calculate like this? But the superior told him not to take himself too seriously. We have calculated this data. Giving it to you is just for the process. And Catherine did not give up because of this. He lifted the materials in his hand, found that the erased parts can be seen through the light. That day, he calculated data on the blackboard. While calculating, he suddenly felt the urge to urinate. He held back and finished calculating before rushing to the bathroom. When he left, colleagues were astonished. This was the result they had been unable to calculate for a long time. The boss was very surprised to see. But when he came back, he was questioned. Because the smeared parts are confidential. What he calculated was data from the confidential materials. The boss asked where he got the information. Catherine said it was obtained through light. The boss picked up the paper and looked at the light. He could indeed see the smeared parts. At that moment, he believed in Catherine's ability. So the boss gave orders to others. In the future, no smearing is allowed on Catherine's data. All calculations must be confirmed by him. Sometimes humans can't compete with nature, even if they prepared desperately to take off. In the end, the Soviet side was still one step faster. That day, the orbital data suddenly updated. Results from the calculations were needed immediately. However, the boss could not find Catherine. On the other side, Catherine is running in the heavy rain, just to go to the black-only restroom. After using the toilet, she wants to wash her hands. No soap. After washing her hands, she wants to wipe her hands. No toilet paper. Catherine endured it. Then she rushed back into the rain. By the time she returned to the office, she was completely soaked. The boss looked very curious. What are you doing every day? Why are you always not there when I look for you? The boss became even angrier upon hearing this. It takes 40 minutes to go to the restroom. What are you doing in there? This time, Catherine was unwilling to endure it any longer. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. My uniform, skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. Catherine was unwilling to continue being bullied. She packed up and directly left the office. A man ripped off the black-only label from the water bottle. Then he took a big iron stick to the women's restroom door. She let the black stand aside. Let the white stand another side. Facing the toilet sign is a wild bang. He told everyone, from now on, this toilet is not divided by black and white. Here at NASA, we all pay the same color. It takes place in NASA in 1962. At that time, racial discrimination was still very severe. 
Black people are often treated as cleaners. There are special black restaurants for eating. Work is all squeezed into dark and damp basements. Even when astronauts come to visit, they must keep more than three meters away from whites. When astronauts want to come over to greet them, they are blocked by the white leaders. However, the astronaut did not mind. He stepped forward and shook hands with the black, gave them warm greetings. This greatly encouraged the black woman, who was a computer engineer. After many failed attempts, they finally sent the astronaut into space. In a moment, the whole country celebrated. Everyone was immersed in pride and joy. But the space agency did not dare to relax. Because after the successful test flight, they needed to calculate more precise angles and orbits to successfully send astronauts into space. Therefore, the space agency held meetings all day long. Catherine was also calculating nonstop all day. However, no matter how fast she calculated, she could not catch up with the changes in decisions at the meetings. So she approached her boss to apply to enter the meeting room. Only then could she obtain real-time data. However, her boss told her it was simply impossible. At that time, no women were allowed in the meeting room, let alone she was a black woman. In order to attend the meeting, she could not possibly write her name on the report. As a result, she was reprimanded by her boss. At that moment, the boss happened to pass by. After understanding the reason for the situation, the boss plans to take Catherine in. However, the superior is still trying to stop. Okay, I get that part, Paul. Catherine walked into the conference room. For a moment, everyone looked at him. Fortunately, the boss intervened to help him. This meeting needs to determine the landing site of the capsule. Everyone asked the boss how much time was needed for the result. Seeing the boss's importance, he took the chalk and walked to the blackboard. Then he started to calculate skillfully. Normally, it takes two people half an hour of work. However, he calculated it in less than five minutes. Seeing the result, everyone was stunned. At that time, technology was also developing rapidly. I like your numbers. That day, the aerospace agency introduced advanced large computers. The computer has supercomputing power. In one second, it can complete 24,000 calculations. No matter how powerful the calculator is, it can't compare with this computer. Due to the work of calculation being replaced, Catherine had to return to the dark, damp basement, doing some tedious and boring work again. On the day the astronaut was ready to launch, they suddenly found that there was a problem with the data. For a moment, they could not find where the problem was. The boss hurriedly called the astronaut, told him the detailed situation. The astronaut refused as soon as he heard. Are you joking with my life? At this time, the astronaut proposed to immediately find Catherine for the final accounting. He said, no problem, I will take off. The boss had no choice but to hurriedly send someone to find Catherine. The subordinate quickly ran out, crossing the entire park to reach the black basement. Hearing that there was a problem with the data there, Catherine began calculating without hesitation. After calculating the result, he picked up the materials and rushed to the office. A woman holds the calculated data, runs to the office door. The people inside take the data, did not say a word. With a bang, they shut Catherine outside the door. At this moment, Catherine looked helpless. His dream was to see the trajectory of his calculated spaceship, but who let him be a black man? Just as he was preparing to leave in disappointment, the office door behind him opened. It was his boss. The boss got him an entry permit inviting him to see the rocket launch. The moment he entered the room, Catherine was stunned. It was his first time in this room, also the first woman to enter this room, even the first black woman to enter this room. The boss informs the astronauts directly. The coordinates calculated by Catherine. The launch window is a go. The landing coordinates match. Well, that is very good news, Al. That's right, Colonel. Catherine did manage to calculate a few decimal points further than that hunk of metal. Well, I will take every digit you got. Be sure to thank her for me. Gentlemen, let's launch this rocket. The astronaut then confidently entered the spacecraft. After everything was ready, the rocket launched successfully. Before long, the astronaut successfully entered space. 
Before everyone could breathe a sigh of relief, the spacecraft flying in orbit had an anomaly. The red light of the heat shield suddenly lit up. For a moment, the problem could not be found. The staff demanded an immediate return. Otherwise, the return might turn into a roast pig. Major news media began to report. People all over the country became tense. Originally scheduled to make seven laps. Returning early required manual control of the spacecraft. This would test the astronaut's driving skills. After everything was ready, the astronaut began manual operation. Soon the spacecraft entered a communication blind spot. Friction with the atmosphere turned the spacecraft into a giant fireball. Ground personnel lost all information. Everyone's heart was in their throat. The whole world seemed to fall silent. Suddenly a bright spot appeared on the radar. Land clear, Capcom! Roger that. How are you doing? Then the astronaut opened the parachute according to Catherine's calculated coordinates. The spacecraft successfully landed at the designated location. People cheered excitedly. Behind all this, Catherine made a huge contribution. However, at that time she became the hidden person behind it. The movie Hidden Figures ends here. This film is based on true events. Hidden Figures were the computers for the Apollo Moon Landing Program. In 2016, NASA built the Katherine Johnson Computational Building. To commemorate her contributions to the space program, Katherine received the Presidential Medal of Freedom at 97. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.